Welcome back to the channel. We have an awesome, huge comic haul we're going to try to fairly rapidly go through because we have a lot of books. Before we get into it, we're doing a giveaway. Awesome books. You can get yourself some cool things, including a sweet John Romita signature on the Ultimate Spider-Man 100 there. Leave a comment. That's all you got to do. But there's a video you if you want, you know, all and the details. You, you got to subscribe, too, because we've got to reach 500. Subscribe. Leave a like. If you want to hit a share... Wait, that's is that a, is that what people say? Hit a share, <laughs> not the person. <laughs> Let's continue with the books. So Subscribe. we're gonna first start off with some books we actually already had, which is kind of a weird thing to talk about yeah. in a haul. But what we did is we've had these comics that we just have had for it's years, been laying around in a box. Yeah, and just boxes and stuff. And so we decided to go through them and see if we had anything worthwhile. And uh, yeah, it came out pretty positive, yeah. I think. So. We'll start off, we'll just kind of rapid fire some of the the lesser ones here. I'll just hand them to you. Uh, yeah. Just some cool Star Wars stuff. You know. This one has my favorite back, though. It's got Porkins on the back. Some of them worth, you know, eh, you know, a little bit here and there. Not too bad. We got, this is first uh, X-Men versus Avengers. Not worth anything, but it's cool. <laughs> I think, I can't remember if this has any, like, significance, like, key-wise. Uh, I don't think it does. I no. can't remember. Not a lot happened. Cool that, Predator right there. Just a cool Predator cover that I had. And then a cool Power Rangers. And now, this isn't the original Power Rangers number one. I don't know which one this is. I've tried looking it up before to little to no avail. Now we're going to get into some actually, some books that are worth a little bit of money. So we got the uh, Kung Lao. Kung Lao. I think it's just a one shot anyway. Um, but that's, uh, you know. Decent little book. Got the Baraka as well to go with it. I don't know how many little one shots they did like I this. I think that's neat because, uh, like, in the old Mortal Kombat lore, they're like rivals. Yeah. A little bit. This book recently shot up. Uh, I think it's 72, presents 72. Uh, so yeah, I was right. Look at that. I'm smart. But, uh, you know, he does have a brain Origin cell of there. Wolverine and Weapon X and all that. And that book has uh, kind of just recently gone up. This one's pretty neat. Um, I'm pretty happy to find this one, honestly. This is first yeah. appearance of General Grievous in comics. And then, you know, got the pretty sweet cover as well. It's a free comic book day thing. Uh, and Grievous doesn't really have too many keys or anything. You know, he's not in a lot of stuff. Um, we got some of the Boba Fett is Dead Blood Ties. I think this is the one that's worth a little bit of money, and I can't remember why. I can't remember... It's it's a first appearance of somebody. I can't remember now. But we have all but, what, one, right? I think that was two. Yeah, uh, we have three. one, two, and four. Oh, was it? Wait, which one's one? Right here. This is one. Oh, that's one. That's uh, right. That's this is one. two, and I, that I is showed four. Them, I showed them out of order. I do apologize. Um, this one is part of uh, the episode three. They did a four-part series. Which uh, we actually at the shop right now have number. Uh, let's see which one's it. This is number three. I think yeah. that that one's number four, and because it, it's first. I think so. It's first appearance of Mace Windu and also first cover of Darth Maul. Hmm. I think that's that one. Uh, and then, the Visionaries, which is a nice little book. Some of these books are, we had like from comic packs. You know, we're action figure yeah. people. Um, and like so, I'm pretty sure the Revenge of the Sith book we just showed came from a I think so. figure pack. Um, oh, and then like some of these reprints, like that one, and then also keep an eye out, y'all, for these reprints um, on these bigger books. With this, this isn't a huge. They're not book. worth the same thing as the real books. But these things are worth money. You not know, that might be a ten to fifteen dollar book, something like that. Um, nothing too crazy on this one. Might not even be that high, honestly. This one's all right. Now this one's not in great shape. But, um, you know, you know, again, a nice 15 ish, $20 book, something like that. Um, on the, you know, this isn't first juggernaut, right? Yeah, first juggernaut's 12, this is 13. But second juggernaut, you know. And then this one, we're getting into a little bit pricier stuff. This is like a $30 book. And mainly just because this one's so hyped up right now. Um,. Which is sweet. Yeah. <laughs> it's just really cool. I like that better than the Milestone version. I think the Milestone's a little bit more expensive. 
Pretty sure the next one is also from a figure pack. This is a figure pack, yeah. yeah. Uh, this one's actually... I found weird conflicting information, but it's definitely worth some money. Uh, it does need to be cleaned and pressed, probably. Yeah. But uh, this is the reprint of Heir to the Empire, and that's another super hot book. Probably, I mean, not as hot as, you know, 181, but that's a pretty yeah, hot book. And ever since they mentioned uh, Thrawn and the Mandalorian... Yeah, I'm happy to have this. And this one's only going to heat up, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I think... At the very uh, least, this will be a nice placeholder until we get, like, say, the real thing. Well, I mean, I haven't really talked to you too much. My, my thought of it was, like, I mean, we're probably not going to get the real thing. It's getting pretty right. expensive. And I'll be happy just to have this if you want to clean that nice. one up and get it graded. Clean it up. Get it graded. And that goes for all the books that we found. Now, God, I didn't realize how much of it we actually bought. Uh, yeah. I was thinking we yeah, found we'll most of it. Put this Here. somewhere safe but so we can... I don't know how many that was, but quite a few books that we already had that... Uh... We didn't plan much. <laughs> it's not our forte. <sighs> We're doers. Man, yeah, it's not even a third. Oh, so, the cardboard, although... Yeah, that's those, true, that's makes true. Makes it look a little still. bigger. So, I'm going to start off with a few books that I picked up. Well, I guess one's somewhere else. But anyway, uh, I picked these up today. These aren't anything special. They're just They're some just cool, cool random things. Stop. I guess we'll start with the Ashcan War Machine there. Just a cool-looking uh, War Machine. Yeah, we like uh, big Iron Man War Machine fans up here, yeah. so... Uh, I found this when I was going through comics at work today, and I was like, that's pretty neat. Yeah. And I also oh, nice. found... Dinosaurs for Hire. Dinosaurs for Hire, which I'm a big fan of really crazy, fun covers, and this definitely hits that mark. It's a T-Rex and a Triceratops. It's Triceracop! <laughs> uh, this, is, this is First Forge, yeah. First Forge. First Forge. Ain't that neat. Yeah, nice We're a little... big fan of Forge. Kind of looks like Marco. I'm, I'm telling y'all, pick up... Pick up cheap X Men keys, you know. Like I spent eight dollars on that book. You know he might show up one day. Who knows? Yeah. It's a Frogman cover. Yeah, had to grab it. This one I got today at a flea market. Um, this is first. Uh, I almost said Lucky the Pizza Dog. This is first uh, Jeff the Land Shark. And everybody loves Jeff the Land Shark. Yeah. If you don't, no, we're super you're excited wrong. to have this one. I was, uh, and it's another uh, Kate Bishop. Uh, and, uh, what's his name? Speed cover, Speed's too. Speed's got a gun. So he does have a gun. <laughs> I mean, she's got a bow. I mean, they're both yeah, trying to do the same but, thing. but, like, she doesn't have superpowers. Yeah, I mean, it's a laser. We also picked this up at the flea market as well. We got Gwenpool 1. Which is cool. Which, yeah, fun. I do like Gwenpool. I do like this cover. A lot going on. I do want the... Ah, uh, I can't remember. It's a dead... No... I forget what it is now. It's the first cover appearance of Gwynpool. It's like Secret Wars or something. Um, and it's just like a variant cover, like before Gwynpool like really existed. Yeah. Because um, she was only supposed to be like a one-off character. Yeah. Um, and people just Well, really she didn't appear it. in the comic or anything. It was just like a variant cover they did where they're like, Gwynpool? <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, I'd like to get that book, like pretty bad uh is this anything or is it just no a cool Thor um, cover? it is uh oh i mean it's death of jane foster but it's not a big book or anything it is a variant of uh, ribbick uh cover and when i think of thor i kind of think of ribbick it kind of goes yeah. hand in hand i love ribbick's work on thor i, I think it's just it's i don't know it's really good it, it is really good uh oh this is one of the other random books that i found today at the shop but I don't know how well you can see that. It's shiny. It not only is a foil, but it's like an embossed foil of this sweet Galactus cover. So I just thought, I was like, yeah, that's cool. I'm, you know, I'm yeah. a sucker for foils. Um, we got some random little doodads on Star Wars. I read every single one of the uh, Han Solo Age of Republic, Age of Rebellion, Luke, yeah. and Age of Resistance uh, Star Wars books on the Marvel Unlimited app. And... I liked most of them. Yeah. Then we got some, <laughs> some of them were bad. <laughs> random Punisher books. That's just a just, cool cover. Just some stuff that looked cool. Oh, this one I love. <laughs> what? Those babies are dead. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those babies. Uh, I I like this one a lot. We did get some early yeah. um uh, War Machine Punisher stuff. 
Because that's 23. Because it... What is it? Eight, 218? Is it the first one or 216? I can never remember. I think it's, yeah, it's 218 is the first, I think, cam. Yeah, and then 219 is first full. Anyway, so that was 223. This is 226 where he's taking off the mask. I really like that cover, too. Yeah. Uh, we got some random Moon Knight goodness because Chris is a huge, huge Moon fan. Just love I this really, cover. I do really like this cover actually. I like the kind of like me, snow. Let me hold it from that side so you can really see the Moon Knight. Uh, maybe you can't really see it too well on the camera. Well, but, like, I, I it's, like it because it's like a almost like an etching. Yeah. Um, this is first Midnight Man. I don't yeah, know first that. Midnight Man. One of uh, Moon Knight's. <laughs> Just yeah, I don't, I don't even no, know who that is. I love Moon Knight villains because nobody knows who they are. Is this Midnight Man on the <laughs> That's cover the here? Midnight Man. Oh, I thought it was Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> when you showed it to me, I legit thought it was Black Panther. Uh, yeah, I think I don't think these are anything coming up. Here. No, it's just, just part some, of a cool series that I some enjoyed. Some random covers. I don't like this one. That's creepy. <laughs> it's the man he, uh, he cuts his face off. I like this him. one quite a bit. He cuts that man's face off. He cuts every man's face off. <laughs> oh, no, just that man. That's the only man he cuts this his face off. This is a reverse of the number one of this series. But yeah. I mean, it's a, what, the number 14 or something? It's six. Yeah, I six. I just guessed a random number. Uh, but kind of cool. And that's the last mo random Moon Knight cover. And now we're going to start getting into our better books of the week. Um... So we got, what is this? Is this number 14? Something's got to be number 14, right? Where's the number? Yeah. 14. <laughs> Look, it came to fruition. I Captain America so. number 14. Uh, not only is it a rad cover of Captain really America versus like the Winter the Soldier, uh, with some like old uh, Captain America and Bucky team up in the background. Yeah. Uh, but it's what? First time they... That's a reprint from... Like, first time they fight? Re first time yeah. he meets... And first time... Uh, first time Falcon and Winter Soldier meet. First time they fight... Uh, and that's, I can't remember, that's from some old Captain American comic. Yeah. But, um, yeah, pretty solid cover. I really like that one. Uh, this book has recently started going up. That's a heavy book. What's that one? This is for Shriek. Also, oh, yeah. another book that came out when I was born. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, same in, day in the month. month. Uh, no. I don't know what day it came out. Probably not the same day, but. I want a comic from a day that I was born. Well, that's harder to do. You know, they don't come out every single day. <laughs> You know, they're going to come out like once a week well, or something. maybe. Fine. I mean, yeah, yeah, maybe. But anyway, First Shriek. Um, also, you know, cool Carnage cover. Um, yeah. Spider-Man Unlimited Looks like he's real big. One. Yeah. Pretty solid book. Another uh, awesome book. Cool X-Men uh, Yeah. Cover. But, you know, uh, classic Gambit uh, Again, Gambit Rose, as much yeah. as I'm a fan of Moon Knight, also a big fan of Gambit. Yeah, solid book there. And then we got the... Uh, which I already have one, but I don't. Uh, this is the first time I'm getting a new stand on it. Um, but this is first uh, cameo of S Mr. Sinister, and then you know just a cool Wolverine versus Sabretooth cover. But that book's eating up, you know, too. This is is this the miniseries? This is the first it, unlimited yeah. series. Oh yeah, it says yeah, it right there yeah, on the cover. Yeah, gotcha. I don't know why I was thinking you get. Uh, so this is number one of the uh, ongoing series. I was thinking you got the miniseries. No. You don't, you don't really care for the miniseries. I don't like the cover. We do have the miniseries up at work, though. Yeah, I know. I if you ever it. change your mind. And then, who's this? This is first Stained Glass Scarlet. Yeah, One I, of Moon Knight's bigger small villains. I didn't know who that was. Uh, I still don't know. This one's heating up uh, because she might be in the show. Yeah, I heard... There's some, a lot of speculation that she might be I in the show. I ended up looking up something later, and I saw that she might be in the show or something. But, I don't. I, again, I don't know who it is. But, you know, pretty awesome book, regardless. Um... I mean, <laughs> I love how crumpled he is on the <laughs> bottom there. He looks like a dead spider. That's great. A and a newsstand variant. What a dead I didn't pay attention like. to that. Now, I picked up this book today. I've been wanting this book for a while. I got me a Red Hulk number one. I did not pay that price. I, paid, I got it for significantly cheaper. But it has a few condition issues. It's not, not too bad. Not too bad at all. But it's still... But... Beautiful cover. I love the cover. Still a Red Hulk. Book, book is heating up. Um, you know, just all speculation right now. We don't know anything, but man, do we got a good feeling. That is <laughs> we got a good hunch about and this. And that's one. all we need to know. Another sweet, sweet cover here. Also good key. All new Captain America number one. First time uh, he gets the costume there. Oh, no, that was... Is it not? 
No, this is just his first. Oh, series. this is the first cover appearance of the costume. Yeah, that's what it is. I he I gets it in it. an older Captain America. You're right. You're right. Yeah. I I almost had it, <laughs> but uh, very very sweet cover there. I like that one a lot. And then it's the first time he's like fighting in the costume. The big boy. The this big is big, the big boy. Big, I've wanted this boy. book since before we collected comics. I've just always thought this has been such a beautiful cover. It's such an iconic cover. And this book. And we got in really good condition, too. No, we did not. Uh, this, better this condition than rough. I was thinking. This book is rough. It, it presents really well. Without further ado, we got Star Wars 68, baby. Look at uh, that uh, thing. Uh, One of my favorite covers it. of all time. But, I mean, it really does. It does present pretty well. I don't know. It was also first appearance of Dengar. Yes, first Dengar, and then first mention of the Mandalorians. And, uh, and Finn first uh, Finn Scheisse. New stand. Oh, man, I'm happy to have this book. I got it for what I think was a pretty fair price. Like I said, it's definitely, you know, it's not great. It probably would grade out to be about a five on a good day, four on a bad day. <laughs> Um, somewhere in that range, but I mean, man, I'm happy to have it. Yeah. It's one of those things that, yes, eventually I'd like to upgrade it. Um, uh, but, but for now, man, this yeah. book is, this book is so hot and we have rumors about with Dengar too, like Dengar yeah. might, um, Can might be in, Boba Fett. in the Boba Fett series or something at this point, like he could pop up in the Bad Batch easily. Yeah. There's all kinds of things. He's probably going to be involved in the War of the Bounty Hunters in yeah. the comics, you know. So there's all kinds of reasons to hype up that book, mainly the Boba Fett show. Um, even though I know it's not Boba Fett, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Like, that's what it, when it boils down to, it doesn't matter. Because any... For all we know, Finn Scheisse could show up in the uh, Boba Fett That's show. true. It's true. Um, Anything is possible. I don't think they're going to, though, because, I mean, we did the Cobb Van thing, which wasn't really the same. It's not like he was, like, you know, trying to be Boba Fett or anything. But we already got the, is that Boba Fett, except for really tall and doesn't fit in his armor? <laughs> so I don't think we... It would be interesting to see, all, after all these years, Boba Fett be like, oh, someone's out there impersonating me. I gotta go stop that. It could be cool. They could do it. I just, I'm leaning towards they won't, but... Because what's that other guy's they name? Might. Oh, and it, but if they like the do, if they do, Chris, this book will go absolutely bonkers. Uh -huh. It's already going bonkers. I mean, that's what it's that's what already going Double bonkers. Double bonkers. Anything, Twice the bonkers. <laughs> anything uh, Boba Fett news, whether you know, he's going to be this or that or whatever, it's going to make your Star Wars 42 and your 68 go up. It's just how it is. This book, I mean, I think, I think once upon a time, before, we, before I worked at the shop, the shop had this book for like thirty dollars, like much better condition than this. So that just goes to show you like how crazy how poor we were in the past. No, I again, I just I didn't collect comics at the time, and I I, re I think about that day a lot actually because <laughs> I I was actually kind of close to buying it. Oh, but anyway, that's our haul for this week. A lot of cool things, in my opinion, the two coolest things, probably these, right? I do really like the red hole. What's that? Oh, yeah. But the double Star Wars goodness, this is sweet. I like the stained glass scarlet one. Yeah. <laughs> but first Thrawn and then 68 is one of my grails, Chris. One of my grails. But that's going to be it for this week. Like I said, you know, get yourself in that giveaway. Just leave a comment. Get yourself. Even if you're like, hey, hey, subscribe. all your books. Subscribe. To and us. that puts you in the giveaway. <laughs> so. Comment. You don't like comics, uh, you don't like us, <laughs> and you don't like anything. If you You're like, anti fun. If you like the books that we keep getting, which we do get cool stuff around here, I'm making videos now showing off the shop. I picked 10 books this week. I can't remember how many books I did last week, but I put them out every Friday now. And, uh, right? Or is this Saturday? No, it's for. Yeah. Saturday, I lied. Yeah, Friday, yeah. Friday is Saturday. something else. So I put them out every Saturday now, and it's cool books that you could buy. Because I make a video at the end of the day on Friday, I record it, I put it up on Saturday, before the shop even opens, so you could get those books. 
cool books in there too. I put some really good ones in this week. That's going to be it for this video, this thing that we're doing where we're having a... That's going to be it for this day. I want to Linguistics go challenge. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Adios.